to another video, but this one's exciting. This time, me and Christian are in Miami for Miami Swim Week. So excited to be here and to bring you guys all along with me on our adventures. I'm sure it's going to be exciting because there's never a dull moment for us. Right, Christian? Yes. So right now we're on our way to the hotel. The hotel, I guess like it didn't say anything about this role when I booked it because I, I would have thought twice. But pretty much they were saying that they don't always accommodate early check-ins and then if they do you have to pay $20 extra per hour. I don't know. I've never been anywhere that does that. But hey, we're going to go to the hotel and see what they say. Hopefully, you know, that's just one of those disclaimers, but they, they can accommodate. So we're just going to go and see and go from there. Christian? I'm a movie star. You got to pay me to be in these videos. I charge. <laughs> Okay, so Christian doesn't want to be in the videos, guys. So we just checked into the hotel. I'll do a little walkthrough of the hotel in a minute. And of course our room will be check in. So we do have to wait a little bit longer. They said the room wasn't ready, that's fine. So they have several different buildings in the hotel. Um, so we're kind of like in the adjacent area. There's a restaurant, Mas Cuba. Yes, guys, you know I have no accent, so that's the way I'm pronouncing it. Christian, how would you say it? Hype Mas Cuba? Oh, here? Oh, yes. Mas Cuba. Mas Cuba? Mas. Oh, well, see, guys, I suck. Sorry. So, we're waiting for our food. Of course, Christian gets some fancy stuff, and Sinead gets like the most basic B tackle of food ever. What are you talking about? I didn't get anything fancy. Well, for me, that's fancy, because you know what I mean? Nothing. I just got chicken on, on bread, essentially. Okay, well, for me, you and, know that's, and, that's, that's, that's exotic for me. Donuts, which is with like stuff on top plantains. of it. But you got stuff on top of it. That's different. I don't know, guys. Sorry, I think that's exotic because I'm a pretty boring eater. So, yeah, we're just relaxing. And also, at the front desk, they told us that at the restaurant, well, at the bar, there's free happy hour with vodka punch from 6 to 7. They said it's strong. I'm scared. It's giving me back the college days type of times when they made a big jungle juice and you drank at your own risk. I feel like that's what's giving, but it's free. So, your girl's going to be there. And so will Christian. We need here to shoot content. Today's a relaxing day. Oh, nothing's planned today? No, remember, so for today, so far, guys, so we just got in. Um, the plan for today was really just to chill until later. So tonight, what do we have? Tonight we have, I think it's um, an event that's like on the water. I can't, I can't remember the exact name right now, but it's like an opening event, a happy hour cocktails. And then after that, we have the official opening night from Parisio for the uh, Miami Swim Week. So it's official party, kickoff party. I guess we could check it out. It's something to do, but you know, me and Christian aren't really the party type anymore. So we'll, we'll, we'll take our chances and see, check it out. I think it's gonna be nearby. Worst case, we'll just go and do our own thing. See ya. So the food has come. I got my french fries and my empanadas. Yes, basic B style. And Christian has tostones with shrimp on top and cheese. It looks really good. Um, I'm a little picky about shrimp, so I don't know if I'm gonna eat the shrimp, but I'm gonna eat one of the tostones. Then he has some shredded chicken thing on a roll. I don't know what it is though. But it looks good. He's enjoying it. He's tearing it up. You like your food? Yeah. Good. Hey guys, so we finally checked in. I'm super excited because I'm exhausted and I'm tired. I need to take a nap. Otherwise, I will be no good for the rest of the day. Um, so let me show you guys the room. So we walk in. The room is pretty small, but it's going to, you know, achieve what we need to achieve. This is the bed. This is the light. This is really cute. Really aesthetic. The TV, we have a mini fridge or mini bar, snacks, drawers. Then we have um, we have this mirror here and a sink. And then we have this closet. I wish that this closet was 
um, a little bit more like over, like it over there because this is gonna be really hard for me to like see how my outfits look. Like it's very disappointing, a little bit. Maybe there's another mirror I have to check. Let's look inside. So inside we have a blanket or towel. It looks a little questionable. Um, we have our iron, which I was hoping we were gonna have because I had to iron my clothes. Hangers. We have a safe. So the room is pretty small, like I said before. We have a desk, so this would be good for me to do my makeup or to like edit and stuff in between things. Then we have the bathroom. Shower, no tub, and a toilet. So, all in all, it's pretty basic. Nothing fancy, smashy, just literally no bars. Just literally, you're getting what you paid for and that's what it is. So that's that. This is the only mirror. So in order to make it work, I have to just kind of put it like that and step away. I mean, it's not the best option, but it's an option. So this is my airport outfit. I'm wearing my Skims outdoor set that I got during one of the sales. I really love this. I also love that it kind of like has a little light compression to it. So it kind of helps. I mean, you can still see my little lower belly, but that's all right though, I still look cute. <laughs> then we have my MCM slides. Love these. I have this little like white button up, crop button up oversized from Forever 21. I've had this for a couple years now, love it. And then I have my Gucci cap, love this as well. I was going for a little outdoorsy, kind of like neutral, earth tone type of vibe. That is the airport outfit. And this is where you guys will be seeing some of my outfits during this trip. Yes. So me and Krishna confirmed for our first event and then there's a happy hour with the vodka punch, whatever the hell that is, um, at six and seven. So we're just going to relax right now, replenish ourselves, drink some water because we're old. We need to get some hydration in our spirits and yeah, freshen up. So I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Christian's talking about why it's unsafe for us to buy property in Miami. He says that we're going to be underwater and condominiums just fall to the ground for no reason. So he's not a fan. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> Good morning, guys. So this is the next day after. So me, Christian, and our true na and poo nature did absolutely nothing. <laughs> all we did was go to sleep, but it's all right because we were exhausted and um, we didn't get a lot of rest the, the night before. Say hi, Pooh. Hello. Let's walk in the shade. We didn't get a lot of rest, so here we are. Um, so right now, before we go to our first event of the day, we're gonna get coffee. So I'm not one of those people when I go on vacation that I start um, doing master planning and have these crazy agendas of stuff we must do. I have an outline of the events we're going to because that's the main purpose of us going. But anything else we want to do, I prefer to just go see what's around and see what we run into. We all don't have to go to the same exact places on vacation. That's kind of unnecessary. So, yeah. So, right now we're going to something called Cafe de Monde, de Monde, whatever. I'm not French, so I don't know how to pronounce it. But that's what it sounded like to me. Um, we're going to get a coffee. It looked really cute. Maybe I'll take some pictures, a reel to show you guys. And, yeah. Then we're going to get back to the hotel. I'm gonna get dressed really quickly, put my makeup on, and head to the event. We're we taking it to go? No, we're gonna sit down for a little bit. We're already drinking coffee. Chill. This is a nice presentation. Did you take a video of the presentation? Yeah. Uh, oh, bro, they have a hovering TV. That is fire. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. For the coffee spot, I give this presentation at 10. I don't know. Cause you walk into a, like you walk into a garden. And it's nice and cool with the enclosure has the has the fans that keep it cool and it's really muggy today or really humid today. So the fact that it's able to um, keep it nice and nice and cool in here is really like nice. Oh, yeah. 
And look, look at the hut. So I agree with everything that Christian said. This is a really nice spot, which is why I picked it. Say hi, Pooh. So while we're waiting, I actually tried this Clarins lip oil for the first time. I've heard so much about it. I got it in a gift bag at an event I went to. I had two of them actually. I was like, mm, let me see what this is about. So like I said, I didn't put on any makeup to come here. We just wanted to get a quick coffee, quick, like, you know, a little quick stop before we start our day because I need coffee always. Um, so I was, let me grab something that spruce it up a little bit besides my usual Fenty Beauty lip glow balm, that, the same gloss that everybody gloss balm this has a gloss balm so i tried this one and it's nice it gives a little tint to the lips moisturizing not too thick or sticky but still moisturizing enough so i highly recommend it i'm also getting a little annoyed that my hair is like puffing up already i knew this was gonna happen in miami that's why i want, really wanted to get my hair braided but i didn't have enough time so here we are i'm at the flat ironist and pray for the best it's a health that our hotel room is super humid. Like, they need to get a humidifier in there. Like, it's too much. Christian, what did you get? Mocha, ice mocha. Yummy. And I have an ice latte with oat milk. You guys know that oat milk is what I do. It's my favorite. How cute is that? I'm here for it. Christian's making his faces at me, but I think it's cute. Everybody, I'm sure there's many people here in the occasion of Miami Swim Week, which is a really important week um, for the city and for bringing together different brands. Um, I'm really excited that we are a, being a part of this week, especially because it's our first time. It's our third Espresso Vogue which is um, really amazing because it was born um, in Mexico City, trying to bring together Latin American and Mexican. Oh. What should I cut? Right in the middle? Right here? Yeah. One, two, three. So we just came to the ribbon cutting for Espacio um, Vogue. So that was nice. They have a pop-up shop that's gonna be going on the whole entire week. And today was a ribbon cutting and there's different brands here. We have the Palm. So they do the super oxidant tea. They have Image Skincare, which is one of my favorite skincare brands, especially when I used to get my facials at Heyday Skincare. Love it. And then I think there's some others that I will point out. In a minute, we'll go inside and we'll meet some of the brands, see what their see their collections, see their products. Super excited! I always love meeting new brands, especially more like independent brands because they have some of the dopest pieces that no one else will have. So stay tuned for that.
Okay guys, so these are the heels and this was the full outfit. I'm wearing these heels from Guess. I got them from Macy's. They're platform heels, but they're super comfortable, especially if you have wide feet like me. It doesn't dig into your feet. It doesn't have like those strappy strands that kind of like dig into like your, your big toe and all of that. Love these. And I got them on sale for $40. I love them. Super comfortable. I walked a couple blocks, stood for a couple hours, and I'm not in pain right now. <laughs> this dress is the old collection from um, Alexis times Target. Last summer I got this dress, so happy to wear it. I think this was perfect for the type of event that we went to. My makeup I did pretty lightly. This makeup was the Fenty Beauty Skin Tint, which is still look pretty pigmented. If you want it to be a little bit more coverage, I suggest applying it with your hands because a sponge will absorb some of the makeup and make it a little bit more of a lighter coverage, but I still like a for times like this, I do prefer more of a medium coverage, light to medium, more than just light because I do have some discoloration. So I think it did it really well. For some of the darker marks, I did make sure to apply my Born This Way concealer just to even out that part. Bronzer, I used a new thing from Sephora. Let me show you guys. This is my makeup bag. It looks crazy, but let's ignore that. So Sephora, I got this also from an event. It's a it's micro smooth set and this is in the color Captivate. It's really nice because it includes a bronzer color, a darker matte blush, and a more glowy highlights or a highlighting blush. So I used a bronzer, I used this blush, and I used a little bit of this on top of the blush to kind of give a glow. I didn't want to use any highlighter because I knew I was going to start sweating and I didn't want it to like amplify the, the, the um, shininess on my face. I actually really enjoyed this. Sephora Collection has a lot of nice products, so if you haven't tried them out, definitely consider them. And yeah, I don't know how much this costs, but like I said, Sephora collection is a little bit more on the affordable side. So I definitely would recommend this if you're around my skin tone. If you're a little bit darker or much darker, I don't know if this bronzer will really do anything. Because I don't, also don't think it was that dark on me as well, but it did enough when I layered it. So just my recommendations. Love this. Then I did also apply this Thrive Mascara. If you're looking for a mascara that's really going to lift your lashes and make them look super long, I highly recommend this. I got this during COVID. Um, when they were giving out products to the healthcare workers, because we were healthcare heroes at the time, at the time somebody actually cared about us, um, I used this and I really like it. For a lip product, I used this Dior Lip Addict Lip Liqueur, and then this is the shade 667, and it's in Pink Meteor. I really like this. It gave me a nice hydrated, pigmented lip, not too pigmented but still natural with some color and I thought this was gorgeous. I love the Dior lip liqueurs or lip products. I just like Dior Beauty in general. So I highly recommend them if you're looking for a luxury beauty brand to try. Okay, so now I see that this is the good lighting right here. And this corner is where you guys are gonna see a lot of reels because um, this the lighting in this room isn't that great, but I, now I know this whitish area looks great. So I definitely will be creating some reels later on. Um, so yeah, the event was really great. Like I said, we me and Christian had a good time. We stocked up on the free water. You know, we gotta like be resourceful and get as much as we can. So we got some sparkling waters. Um, we got to like meet brand reps from the different brands. It was overall a good like first event. Um, I won a prize from Image Skincare, so that was exciting. They had a little truck. So I got an SPF and a cute like white hat that I'm gonna wear by the pool because I just feel like it's just cute. And yeah. So right now what we're doing is we're relaxing at two. We're gonna go to the pool, um, shoot a tiny bit of content, not too much. This is mostly just for us to relax and just get some sun before we start our events later tonight, which is at five. And it's another show and panels. So excited, let's go. Hey guys, so we're going to the pool. I'm not gonna shoot any crazy content, just one or two reels that I really wanna get done. But this is the look. I'm wearing my handy dandy, trusty, oldie goody swimsuit from ASOS. So you guys know I'm busty. So I really love ASOS because ASOS design includes um, swimwear that's catered. They have a line that's catered for big bus girls like myself. So my problem is, is that I'm busty, but my back is also small. So for reference, I wear 32G, 32 double G. So small band, large bust. So most women wear that small, medium, large does not work for me. So this works really well. This is actually a little bit smaller than I need it because I got it when my boobs were smaller, but it still works. And then I have this cover up I got from Tulum a couple years ago from like a native brand. I love it. I think it's like really gorgeous in a moment. I'm wearing my MCM slides because I felt like it went with this. And then I have my Gucci bag that's inside, but I'm going to wear it when we get to the pool for the content. So stay tuned. Yeah. 
Hey guys, so we made it to the rooftop pool. We're just gonna relax, chill, and then I also want to get some content because, you know, be the content, right? Sort of. Yeah. So the pool is nice. It's a rooftop. Um, it's not that crowded right now. There is a family. Yeah, so you know. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to shoot something. Christian didn't want to use my camera, so he had to go back to him and get his camera. I mean, this isn't going to be a production, but I'm going to do as he wants to do since he's helping me. So yeah, so until he gets back, I'm just going to chill and admire their views. So we're going to mix some high low for the skincare, body care. So we have our Tom Foil Soleil Blanc. That's the perfume we're also wearing. We're going to use that for the oil. And then for SPF, because we got to protect our skin, I'm going to use this one from Target that I got on clearance. <laughs> Hey guys, so we made it to the other pool that's part of the hotel and this is definitely bigger, more spacious, just as beautiful. I'll show you guys a clip in a second of how it looks and I'm happy that we came here. The other one was just, it was nice but there was only one small pool area and there was a family with small children that were kind of just like taking over the whole area so that wasn't really relaxing. But here we are. So we just got back from our first night out of Miami Swim Week. So this is my outfit. I'm wearing my Alice and Olivia slip dress. You guys would have seen this several times. I love this dress. I'm getting my cost per wear. It's just super flattering. The color's really vibrant. It's just a really cute piece. Then I have my Zara jelly sandal mules with sequins on them. I think they're just really cute. And I like the juxtaposition of wearing that with this. Then I also have my Sin um sin bono bag is a vegan leather bag i've gotten lots of compliments on this today it just goes with a lot of my outfits the leather is vegan leather but it's not like that vegan leather that i don't like it looks like leather but it has the benefits of vegan leather such as when it gets wet it just wipes right off so i love this so this was the look hey guys so we're back inside 
what a night what a good night so my feet hurt but besides that i think we had a good first fashion miami miami swim week night out so you guys would have saw that we went to the destination columbia show so it was many designers into one show it was really nice but it was kind of long but still nice then after that we went to eat at the w hotels restaurant it was really 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 nice i highly recommend that me and christian put it on our bucket list to actually stay there as guests the hotel's a little pricey but you know you know we're gonna put it out there we're gonna manifest that then after that we went to the abyss by abby show and that was really great fetty wap was a um performer for the swim show and it was really lit it was one of the best shows we went to it was very exciting the swimwear was was really beautiful so i don't really think it needed it well swimwear and resort wear but it still just added on like a little extra like aspect of up to the show especially because christian said it was late at night so it kind of just made it more like a nightclub type of vibe so it was cool so i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna like shower wash our faces get ready for the for the night call it a, a, a early one or early for us because you know we're old and then <laughs> and then we're gonna wake up early go to the pool i have a couple of things that i'm booked for so at nine i'm gonna be going to a yoga session i'm gonna decide if i'm really gonna go i think i'm gonna go it'll be nice i need to get myself into shape and then after that i think at 12 12 30 i have my spray tan so i'm gonna bring you guys with me i have never spray tanned before um I'm black so typically we don't really need to go out of a way to tan but I'm just curious to see how much more tan I'm gonna get or how it looks plus I'm always down to be more chocolatey and more bronzy and more glowy so definitely looking forward to see how that's gonna be coming out and like I said I'm gonna take you guys with me so see you guys in the morning bye good morning guys so I'm now gonna go to a yoga session, complimentary and breakfast at the Savoy Hotel. Super excited. I'm sorry that it's so noisy in the background. I don't know what's going on, if it's a construction or an alarm. Super annoying, but it is what it is. So I'm excited to do some yoga, get some stretching, get some refreshments, get some breakfast. Um, so yeah, the Ubers down here are so much cheaper than New York. In New York, the Uber I took would have taken minimum $15. This was about $8, and that's only because I didn't do the shared ride. If I did a shared ride, it would have been $6. So whoever said that Miami's, I mean, Ubers in Miami add up currently, no, they do not. Definitely don't rent a car. Just get an Uber. It's so much cheaper. So yeah, so while I'm on my little 10-minute car ride, I charge my Apple Watch because you can't exercise without the Apple Watch. No, because if you didn't have your Apple Watch on, did it really count? Probably not. And then um, I also answered some DMs and comments. I've been slacking on my Instagram stories and all of that just because we've been on the go, 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 go. But today I think I'm gonna have time to catch up. So let's go. these foot pads just be, so they don't collect extra tan on your feet so the tan comes out even. Gotcha. Alrighty, that's Sticky it. Feet, bro. Sticky feet, row, and then you're ready to tan. So this is the quick outfit of the afternoon while we go look for lunch. Best spot to pull up is just on the here.
Hey guys, so I know it's been a little bit since you guys have last have seen me. Um, I died a little bit after um, I got my spray tan, but we're not gonna talk about that. Me and Christian were out for the count, but now we're back in the game. Earlier we went to some place called Burger Baby, Cheeseburger Baby. Um, it's like, I don't know if it's a chain, but it was a really dope spot. They had some shade with their little, it doesn't take five guys to make a hamburger or cheeseburger or whatever. So anyways, it was a cool spot we found. Um, we had a good time, got some milkshakes. We were a little bit of fat asses. Then we came back and relaxed. And now we're rejuvenated, we're refreshed, we're ready for the festivities of Miami Swim Week. The next show we're going to is for Planet, Planet Fashion, the swimwear show. It's at the Plymouth Hotel, so we're on our way there. It's literally around the corner from our hotel. We literally weren't trying that hard to find a hotel that was like the perfect location from all the events, but literally we succeeded because we're the goats. No, I was joking. <laughs> Actually averaging less than three blocks of travel time to each um, location, so that's not, that's not bad. Yeah, like I feel like in New York Fashion Week, I feel like it's like a struggle with the heels, the Ubers, everything's super expensive. Even Ubers I've taken have been super cheap compared to like New York. So right now, I feel like we're winning. We're having a great vacation, great working vacation. And now we're about to go to another event. And we have several other things to attend tonight. So we're just trying to like do as much as we can without killing ourselves. So without further ado, let's get to the events. And um, I was gonna be making money from performing. I would know those songs left and right. There's no way I'd be going on stage embarrassing myself. Embarrassing, they comfortable with the embarrassment. That's the, that's like the perplexing thing. It's like, you know, talk about living in the truth. You're living, you're living in mediocre, less than mediocre. Look, it's That's our weird. apartment. I mean, apartment. <laughs> uh, apartment, right? Hotel. Well, one day we will have an apartment in Miami. Uh, we no. gotta speak in a man Texas. manifest manifest it. Texas. We can have that too. Uh, That's too many. Why would we? Matters. Why would we choose one when we can have both? Because Texas gives you more space. But we can have you both. Have a basement. But we can have both. Man out here doesn't allow you have a basement. But we can have both, and I know the good thing is but, we would have the one here just as an apartment, just so we can rent it out to Airbnb when we're not using it. As long as you said that, that does my work. Yeah, I was set up. I'm gonna learn from my friends. I'm gonna yeah. learn from, yeah. from Kadeen because Kadeen knows all that stuff. We need someone to be out here to manage it. Oh, we're we gonna find somebody. So, there's a change in plans. We went to the first venue for the Planet Fashion, Planet Fashion Show, and the line was a little bit long. And then I just really want to make sure that we don't miss the one that we're going to now, which is gonna be the Indagata. Vita show by Collective Moda. It's gonna be different designers, it's gonna be a runway show, there's gonna be an NFT presentation, there's going to be cocktails. Apparently the runway is floating or something or it's on water. It just sounds really nice. So I definitely we weren't able to make it to the one on Wednesday when we arrived in because we were jet lagged and needed to recuperate. So I just really want to make sure we make it to this one. Cause I think it's gonna be stunning. So that's what we're going to now. We're in the Uber. And once again, the Ubers are winning here and the Lyfts are winning here compared to, you know, New York. New York, this would have been $25. Crazy.
morning, everybody. So the next day, I went to the Swim Week Speakeasy that was held by Parazio. The first stop was Melee Skincare, which is a black-owned skincare brand that focuses on women of color and our hyperpigmentation issues. They gave me a complimentary mini makeover. I keep saying makeover, mini facial, which was amazing. I definitely enjoyed the products as well as information that the esthetician has shared with me. It was definitely a great experience and a wonderful way to start my morning. They had some light bites as well as um, some refreshments and really great water. I didn't drink anything. Surprise. Um, I also checked out this um, nail care brand by Kathleen Lights. The, the products were really cute and the colors were nice. Then I went over to the Ico station. The Ico station... Um, their theme was a coconut I guess apparently a lot of their products have coconut inside of it which is really great and nourishing for the skin as well as very hydrating they gave me a little eyeliner tutorial and talked a little bit more about the products with me and what I really enjoyed was this delicious fresh coconut with some pineapple definitely another way to start my day that was wonderful and very 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 pleasant they also had a little little bathroom that you could take pictures in that was really cute that had affirmations on the wall or rather you could write things on the wall. So I thought that was really cute. It was like a really nice like photo op moment. I didn't partake, but it was really cute. Hey guys, good morning. Well, now it's afternoon. I just came from the um, speak the Miami Swim Week Speakeasy. So pretty much they had different brands and different complimentary like mini services. It was so cute. I had such a great time. First, I got a mini facial from LA Skincare. Got to learn a bit more about their brand, which is super exciting. It's black owned. And one of their biggest things is dealing with darker skin or like on um, the problems of darker skin tones. So that's right up my alley because you guys know how much I love my skincare. Then after that, I got like a lymphatic um, drainage massage from like this machine. I'll put the company's name and clips included. Um, I can't think of it right now, but it was a really cool experience. So it was supposed to help detoxify and drain you out. Then I went over to the ICO section and I um, got a little mini eye touch up. So they did a little wing liner for me with their eye pencil and the mascara. I think up until the 30th, they said it's 15% off their products on Ulta. So I'll include a link. Hopefully this video goes up way before then. So you guys actually can shop them if you're interested. Because they had some really nice products. Another thing that was really nice about their products is that everything has like natural ingredients included in all the products. Like some of them have coconut oil and different bio... I forgot what they called the, the exact term. But different bio products. That's really nice. And then to end everything off, um, I ended up with this coconut that they had at their station which was really cute it's from ico london um coconut water it has pineapple and a lime delicious hydrating getting myself ready for the day because today's gonna be a long one
we're just lounging in our chairs. Say hi, Christian. <laughs> we're just relaxing. The last show we had was at 8 p.m. Finished like 8.45. So we're, it's an early night for us. You know me and Christian know we're grandma and grandpa. So we like to just chill out, do nothing wild. So we're just chilling, observing, people watching in front of our hotel. You know, having a good time. Today was the last show we saw at Parazio, and then we might have a couple more shows tomorrow. Not too sure yet, but we're definitely gonna shoot content in the morning. So depending on what we decide, I will either lead, um, end our vlog soon or end it tomorrow if we do a little bit more action stuff. So that's coming coming up. Christian, what did you think about the show? It was okay. Uh, had a few nice pieces. I uh, enjoyed the one last night a little bit better in terms Why? of like, I don't know, I just like, I just like the clothing that the other designer had made. But it was still exceptional, still a good show. Um, we're the black designers, but other, other than that, yeah. We didn't get invited to those shows. <laughs> oh, so I, guess I work on it for next year, but hopefully they hear this, they can know where they need to send the invitations to. We actually gonna cover it. Yes, that will be cool. Yeah, hopefully next year. I agree with Christian. I think that the show that we saw was well done. It was excellent. A lot of high energy. I like the biodiversity. Like they had people different heights, different sizes. They even had somebody who had a um, prosthetic leg and she was modeling. She looked great. It was definitely a really good show. But the one last night, the GMP label, that one was more of things I would probably wear. A lot of it was like, the theme was in the jungle and a lot of it was like more like animal print safari type of inspiration. And that's kind of a little bit more of like something I would truly wear. But one thing I'm thinking about is there's no designers that make like really cool designs that are actually supportive for those of us with dun dun dun. So maybe that's something I could think of in the future to, to do because that's something I feel like personally affected by and I think that'd just be dope to have that and I think a lot of people would enjoy it. So yeah, so what is chilling? Like a villain. Say bye Pooh. Good morning guys. So it is the last day of this vlog, but not the last day I'm in Miami. So me and Christian are going to go shoot some looks. Um, this is just for my own personal organic type of content, things I'm going to put on my Instagram, things I'm going to use for other pieces of content, um, for style inspiration, style tips, things of that nature. So my stuff, which is always one of some of the most exciting content to shoot because it's things that I want to share and things that I want to do. So that's always a good moment. So what I want to do is a little bit of makeup because we haven't done any of that this trip. A sit down, makeup, mini session. I'm not going to do my whole makeup on camera because nobody wants to see that. But I am going to show you guys the products that I did use this entire trip. Because some of you guys might want some makeup recommendations or maybe you're um, looking for makeup that can be good for a tropical, more humid um, climate. So, so for my trip... Um, the primer that I use is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. You guys have heard about this, you guys have seen it. I use it all the time on my makeup videos. I have oily combination skin and I feel like this does a really great job at keeping my makeup on without like making it super matte and drying. Um, I've been using the Clinique Ever Better Clinical Serum Foundation. I've used this for a while. It has SPF 25 in it. I'm using the color Clove. Clinique doesn't really have an exact skin color for me or color match. But by the time I put on my highlighters, which are lighter, it mixes together and my perimeter of my face is darker, inside is lighter. So this just makes sense and it works really well. Um, setting powders, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier minis. I have the medium deep and I have their translucent honey. Sometimes I also like more in the winter time, I'll use the regular universal translucent because I do like it a little brighter. Um, but for this trip, these two went great. I bought the two minis because they're easy to travel with. Plus I have this thing with like, having getting having the ability to actually use up my products before it expires and i feel like when i use minis i know i'm gonna get through them when i buy full-size products because i'm always trying new products or getting new products it's hard for me to keep up with that for concealers i used my nars creamy radiant concealers for the most part i use the color walnut that's usually my go-to color for like a natural highlight however sometimes if i want it a little bit brighter i will add in some caramel so like I said, these both are from NARS, both the minis. I do have the full-size walnut at home. 
for brows i use the dark brown brow was from anastasia this is a goat like i just love this product it's probably the product i've repurchased the most times ever um for lashes i have the sephora collection lashes and these are the weightless false lashes fluffed and full these were super cute i bought them. i think they were like 15 dollars and they look great every time i put them on great investment another foundation i've been using well skin product is the eavesdrop blurring skin tint from fenty beauty for the days where i just want like uh more coverage but i want it to look a little bit more um flawless but still not without doing too much i'll include a clip of me wearing this because i think it came out beautiful and then something new that i used this trip that actually really surprised me was the sephora micro smooth captivate um kind of um palette so it's like a bronzer highlighter highlighting blush a highlighter and a blush all in one but you could as you can see it's kind of geared more towards darker skin tones like myself and i feel like that looked really good on me i definitely love palettes that are multifunctional that you could do a lot with um so this is something that i tried for the first time on this trip and i highly would recommend to others because it's bomb I did use the NARS bronzer the, in Punta Cana every now and then if I wanted a little bit more like darker bronze than the Sephora one so this was great and then for lip products I've only used the same ones for the most part throughout this trip I use this one from Ma Il Maquillage it's called Bella in the color I mean the number 704 it's a matte red it's really bright red so I toned it down with like a lip pencil but I think it looked great I loved it it's really like a, a poppin red like it's in your face cherry red and it's really nice for the summertime um mascara and eyeliner the last two things i'm gonna show you guys for mascara whether i did bare lashes or i did um falsies i used the thrive cosmetics um mascara and i really like this one this one makes my my regular lashes look really great and i highly recommend it if you're somebody who wants your lashes to look longer and fuller and then of course the the goat kat von d um, tattoo liner this is my favorite liner the easiest liner to use I always have issue with eyeliner because my eyes are hooded so I feel like this one just makes it a little bit easier so those are the makeup products and I'm gonna okay so the makeup is done next I'm just gonna add this Tom Ford Soleil Blanc all over my body just for some extra shimmer and shine and bronze I love this stuff it also smells like the perfume and I have the matching perfume so it's a great combination i feel like this scent is always giving me beach beach suntan sun vibe fun in the sun that's always what it's giving so hopefully you guys can see a little bit of the shimmer it's really glorious in real person so what's your name?